Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. The audio might sound a bit different because it is. I'm recording from my art studio and the thing is, well, I kind of had to because if not, I'd probably have to edit for a few hours. Here you go. The first drawing in my portfolio is Logic. This is a Bobby Tarantino 2 mixtape drawing inspired. And you can tell here is the Infinity Gauntlet. Right here it says Addis 187. Who else? Your boy. Gamora's hand is right here, aka Jessica in the original. But during the time they got divorced, so I had to leave her out. Right here you can see baby Groot, you know, just chilling on the side. And overall, this is one of my all-time favorite drawings. So yeah. Here's my second portfolio. Right here, as you tell Pikachu, Ash. This is one of my all-time favorite animes. Unfortunately, the show kind of fell off and it's never been the same, but it always hold a special place in my heart. The opening was awesome. You got to see Mew. You got to see that horse-looking thing. And I wanted it to be the very best, the best there ever was. One of the greatest opening songs of all time. But now the show is kind of trash. Well, at least not made for me, because it's made for kids nowadays. And kids nowadays don't know what good TV shows are. So let's go on to the next one. All right, so here you get to see my boy Saitama, you get to see Krillin, in the background is Namek, and overall probably the coolest place I've ever drawn, because Namek is just awesome. I love the color choices Akira Toriyama chose, and I was watching One Piece, well not One Piece, I was watching One Punch Man at the time, and I loved the show, so I wanted to draw him. This is probably around 2018, March or April, so it's been two years now. Over here, you got to see my boy Jiraiya on perfect stage with Ma and Pa. And you got to see the boy Pain with the Renegon. At the background, you get to see the village hidden in the rain and the Akatsuki logo, of course. And overall, I just probably two of my all-time favorite anime drawings that I've ever done. I worked really hard on them, and this is when I first started learning how to use Copic markers. But I didn't do that bad. Pretty, pretty solid. This is a drawing of my co-worker. So I took a picture of him sleeping as a joke because he said, oh, when are you going to draw me? Like 20, 30 times. And like I said, as a joke, I decided to enter this into an art gallery locally where I live. And it actually ended up being in the show, which was really funny because I invited him over like, oh, look, uh, I entered an art show. It would be really cool if you show up. And he just started laughing when he saw himself in the wall. Right here is the Skull Trooper. As you can tell, it has a lot of detail. I like how I did the background. I wanted it to be purple because of its rarity. It also glows in the dark, but I don't really have the little light to flash it off and turn off all the lights. I'm too lazy for that. But it took me around 20 hours. It was done in colored pencils and Copic markers. As you can tell, it's just really, really, really detailed. Not much else to say about this one besides Fortnite's dead and it's no longer good. And that's it for this one, I think. Yeah, let's call it, I'm done with that. And now to the actual portfolio, the main one. So this has no particular order. It's not my best drawings. It's mostly all the drawings I've done in 2019. Right here to start off, this was Confessions of a Dangerous Mind by Logic. I added the Under Pressure Logic album here, Hidden. Well, now it's not hidden anymore because you found out about it. But yeah, this is Under Pressure album, Inspired. At the background was Van Gogh's cafe painting. I always love that painting and I love Van Gogh. As you can tell right here, he sort of blends into the background and fades out because I was too lazy to do the small detail for it. So I just wanted to keep it simple. This was done right before I went to see his live concert. The album wasn't very good, but Logic always delivers in live performances. As you, Like, trust me, the album might not be that good, but his live performances... He's, it makes you wonder, like, you know what? This album's actually pretty damn good. And Logic always delivers. I'm probably going to draw him again this year. So let's see how it goes. Travis Scott. Uh, I became a recent fan when I was drawing this. And I really, really like his music now. As you can tell, I made the silver because he's always grilled out. The silver eyes. I don't know why I did it. I just thought it looked cool. My boy always icy. Says his tattoos duke. I wanted to make him very, 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 like, strong and fierce because of the background, whatever, for this album cover. And it went along pretty good. And Blue just makes this pop out more, so I decided to do that. Distorted, of course, I had a lot of attention on the eyes. Sight, yeah. Uh, that was a perverted joke. 
ha ha ha. Right here are the purple, well, pink clouds, and I wanted to make them because I saw one of her paintings had that. They look like, sort of like bubblegum, or whatever, cotton candy. And yeah, uh, this took a lot of detail to do because of the design. The hair, I couldn't really see it very good in the photo, but I decided to do as best I could. Her eyebrows, meh, I did good. And yeah, overall, she's a really good artist, and shout out to her for reposting my work on her Instagram. Well, not her actual Instagram, but her Instagram story, so it's close enough. You got to see the two sad boys. My boy XX Tentacion. You got to see my boy J World, Juice World. Two of the best artists of their time. And they weren't even in their prime yet, because honestly, they would have made it so far, but their life got cut short. This guy right here, even his unreleased music sounds like it could all be hits. That's how good he was at making music. And he made so many thousands and thousands of songs, which is crazy. He said he basically would work like 20 hours a day, probably sleep two or three hours, and then go back to the studio. My boy right here, X, everybody knows he might have had a troubled past. He might have done some things he regrets. But in the long run, he would have changing everything he did bad and try to make it better. And unfortunately, he got murdered. And yeah. He was gone way too soon. Honestly, like in 10 or 15 years, he probably would have been one of the best artists of all time. Not just in rap, but in overall music because he was that diverse. And I like how I did the hair. And that. And the little heart. And this. And this one, I don't know. I just... He passed away that day or something like that. And I was like, damn, Juice World, One of my top favorite artists. This is what I did for Cloud. This was back when I first started making YouTube videos. Probably like two or three months after that, that I started. But it was really hard for me because I never did an all white, like, pasty looking face. I like how I did the balloon. I did the it too. And I just blended it out to go with the hair. And overall, I pretty like it. Pretty much like it. Yeah. Uh, not bad. This one was done right after that. It was done for the... Uh, what was it called? The Brainiac skin from Fortnite. I really like how I did this thing right here. And this. It looks really realistic if you look at it from like an angle. But overall, I really like the skin. I did manage to buy it when it re-released. And yeah. I like how I did it. But rest in peace, Fortnite. Once again, Fortnite skins. Crack shot. Of one of my all-time favorite skins. I remember when I first saw this skin, it was really rare. I saw it like two years after it came out. And I was like, yo, what skin is that? I've never seen it before. And uh, the guy was pretty good. He just started building for no reason and killed my whole team because he was playing solo squads probably. Because you know people, all they did back then was just play Fortnite and have no life. Right here, Logic's Producer 6. And I really, really like his uh, his style. Some of my all-time favorite Logic songs was produced by him. I, th I think the Under Pressure song, he also produced it, which is also one of my all-time favorite songs. Next to Runaway, so GG's to him in the chat. We got here the Renegade Raider, the Ghoul Trooper, two of my all-time favorite skins. But unfortunately, this one got played out because it released so many times that now it's not really worth much. I remember my boy had the OG skin, and everybody would go after him, try to kill him whenever they saw him in the lobby. So that's why I didn't run the skin. I never had it, but when it re-released, I had a lot of re-release skins, and people always try to kill me. So I just used like a, the Benji Fish one. Nobody really ran after that. This one right here, I love how I did the skin and I blended it. This was really nice. I like how I did the eyes and the goggles. And overall, probably one of my all-time favorite drawings that I've done. Oh right, yeah, Fortnite's dead. This was done in 2018, around June or May. I remember I wanted to make a realistic drawing and practice my darker skin tones. Because for the most part, I don't really get to draw a lot of darker browns. Kitty Cutty's not that dark, but... I really wanted to learn how to use oranges and more reds, which I did. And as you can tell, this is 2018. This is almost a year to that date. And I got a lot better blending everything in more and more smoothly and adding a lot more oranges and purples to try to give it more depth. Right here, too, I had a lot more details and I got better and better as I went. And more details on the beard. Oh, and rest, by the way, if you don't know who this is, this is Nipsey Hussle. He was murdered at his corner store, I think, I believe. By one of his one of the people that lived nearby, which was really sad because he was trying to help out the community. And yeah, I really, really like this drawing. 